Fashion Sewers and welcome to FSB TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and coming up I'm going to show you how to use an edge joining foot on your sewing machine. Here is what an edge joining foot looks like. Along the right side of the foot is a guy that sits right in the middle of the foot in between the toes. Now if I just turn it over to the underside you get a better indication of the guide just sitting right there and that is allowing you to join two pieces of fabric together. Here I have an example of what an edge joining foot can do. What I've done here is join two pieces of fabrics together. There should be a thin line you should be able to see in between the zigzags and that is the joining of the two fabrics. But you'll have a better indication if I turn it to the wrong side where you can see the seam allowance and the zigzag stitch and you can just see how my foot is able to join the two to almost look as though there's no seam there at all. I'm working on the right side of the fabric and if I just show you what's happening here I've got the seam allowance that's turned in on both sides to the wrong side. I'm now going to align them together, raise my foot and I'm going to put the alignment in line with the guide so I can see the guide in between the join and then I'm going to start sewing. I'm using a zigzag stitch and I'm making sure that I keep the fabrics closed and I'm watching the guide as I sew. I'm going to start halfway so that I can actually show you what the foot is doing when it's actually joined up together. Here we have the joining of the fabric as you can see and if I just raise this a little bit you should be able to see the zigzag taking control and you can hardly see a join of the fabric and that is the capability of the foot. If you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe if you have any comments or queries, please put those in the comment box. We at Fashion Sewing Blog TV would love to hear your views. Check out my other video tutorials by clicking on the links below. And I will see you next time.